lawmaker representing a Tiosa constituency to Bola Hongi Shao has organized the Youth Entrepreneurship Program 2.0 business speech as part of his effort to contribute to Nigeria's economy through small and medium scale enterprises. The business speech, which took place in Lagos, had business owners, entrepreneurs and some members of the public. Our correspondent Paul George reports. Hey. Presentations are made from young entrepreneurs and inventors with wonderful ideas. They have all applied to pitch for grants to support their business ideas. The initiator, Honorable Bolaon Yishao, says it is necessary to provide the needs of the people by supporting SMEs to boost Nigeria's economy. We've looked at businesses that three million can manage. Do you understand? So the three million is for one person. I mean one team, one business. People are looking for ideas to put money into. So with the consultants we have there, we can package them and venture investors can get interested and they can choose to sponsor them. They're helping them to develop themselves privately, personally, and they also create jobs. As they're talking about managing SMS, SMEs now, they themselves are SMEs. So we're creating SMEs, are creating jobs within the system. And that's the idea. He assured the people that the innovation is not going to be a one-off. One of the members of the committee Abdul Mumin ADD announces the reward for the winner of the business speech presentation. Whatever we lay our hands on, God lets prosper and we're able to sustain as long as we're representing the people. So it's not a one off thing. Annually, we have assured them to come to stay by the glory of God. It's not all about the price. There is a lot of businesses that are getting to they're getting guided, and they're able to focus on what they really need to do to make a business out of anything they're trying to solve. I won't use the word support, but monitor them to ensure that to the best of their ability they're able to succeed. The prize win the winning prize is three million era seed, seed funding from engineer Gola Olusha Gunisha. However, it has a surprise package for the first round up and the second round up, which is going to announce by himself at the end of the program. So all other winners, also, all other participants also have consolation prizes. And they all have access to mentorship by, from the Lagos State Employment Trust Fund and impacts innovation up. So it's a total win-win for everybody. One of the judges. Olakweju Uma commends the organizers. She, however, encourages the participants not to give up in their pursuit for success. The winner and the first runner-up, Zainab Musa and Lazbat Kabiau Mutiu, expressed joy about the gesture. We're glad to see, especially the lady that won, the group that won, we're glad to see that, you know, they had tried at several times to get to, um, to the top but we are glad that as of today, they were able to emerge first, which shows that there's hope in everything. I mean, they came third the last time, but here they are today coming first. And it was a, it was a very tough one for the judges, but I'm glad that the best man won. In the next three months, with the sum of three million I was given, so I intend to like get another branch that's going to be more spacious for people to come in and also at least I'm looking up to the profit of seeing maybe more than four million at the end of the uh, by the end of next year, that's 2024. So I was actually expecting the second to be the first, but like I said earlier, whatever God said will be, will be. I'm just so happy about it. I feel excited. I feel privileged because it's. Uh, I mean, it's the work of the judges to pick winners. We have done our part to try to you know communicate what our business is about and how we intend to help society as a whole. But coming to second place was like, I mean, I feel really excited and I'm happy about it. For those who did not get the grand prize this year, are hoping for another opportunity. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.